Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be doing using a spicy team. Uh, got a little inspired. I'm uh, I think currently rank 7 in this video or rank 6. I think rank 6 actually in this video. So I want to I just finished doing my you know 70 use unique uh, 25 battles with 75 unique Pokemon. Uh, so I thought I would continue the trend. I did use some meta Pokemon and some other battles just to finish off the sets. Uh, so I want to try this team and I was thinking about this team all day. Um, I really want to use Rainy Cast Form. One, Rainy Cast Form is able to beat Azumarill and Registeel. Uh, against Azumarill, I think against all the move sets, including the Play Rough variant, you're able to just straight Thunder and KO and beat uh, Azumarill. So there's no need to debate with Weather Ball. And then against Reggie Steel, it's very straightforward, just uh, straight um, um, Weather Ball. And Weather Ball, it's so spammy with that Water Gun. With that Water Gun damage, does a ton uh, and is able to you know be pretty competitive. But it's mostly designed for for that core, maybe like Skarmory. Um, but obviously it has some like pretty poor matchups against, um, against Altaria, uh, for example, or against Meganium or Venusaur. Uh, so that's why I have these other two Pokemon, Hypno, and I really debated the movesets. I was thinking like, okay, maybe Thunder Punch, maybe Shadow Ball Focus Blast, uh, maybe like, um, Fire Punch, and I ultimately settled on Ice Punch, uh, Shadow Ball. Uh, Shadow Ball is mostly for the Reggie Steel matchup, which I'm going to lose anyways. Um, and then uh, for uh, Azumarill, which I can win if I'm able to call their bait correctly. And then uh, the Ice Punch is for Altaria, and that's the only way I'm going to be able to beat uh, Altaria. Uh, and as well for, for Meganium and for uh, Venusaur if I, if I need it. And then Toxicro, uh for, for Reggie Steel, um, for Grass Types. Um, and overall, a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, Caleb Peng, uh, one of the best battlers in the world, uh, did feature a video talking about um, talking about Toxicroot. So I'm running Counter, Mud Bomb, and uh, Sludge Bomb. Uh, so we're gonna see uh, how we do in this these matchups. It does take a little while uh, to sometimes find matchups. I'm currently rank nine. I'm gonna once I hit rank ten, I'm gonna do a video like talking about my journey to rank 10 uh so hypno versus bassinon this is a very poor matchup so i'm not going to switch to toxicro uh, in case i get countered i'm going to switch to um uh, rainy cast form uh, and i'm actually curious why there was no switch out yet and i have i i did not expect to see a bassinon so i did not send this match at all um i have no idea I, i'm definitely can survive this this um stone edge but that's quite all right. And then here comes Azumarill. And then again, I'm just going to go straight for the Thunderbolt. Or not Thunderbolt, Thunder. And if it goes through, it's going to do quite a bit of damage. And I'm hoping to hit the Weather Ball. I'm not going to shield. If this is a play rough, so be it. Um, and it is. And I'm hoping I'm going to switch out into Hypno. And I, I'm going to let this come through, I believe. Nope, never mind, a shield. Okay. I've done a lot of battles since uh, since this match. Okay, so I am going to go for the Shadow Ball. Uh, I'm hoping for a no shield here. Uh, I do get the no shield, which is great for me. And I'm going to go for the Ice Punch. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to get to it, uh, but that's totally fine. And I'm going to, I think I go into... I can't remember if I go to Toxicroot or Rainy Cast Form. I go into Rainy Cast Form uh, looking to burn this last shield. And I get, I get, I, well, it ends up just fainting. And then I switch over to Toxicroot and uh, Bastion. I could just counter down. Even if Flamethrower came through, I would still be able to survive. Um, so GG. And I think I actually rematched the same opponent. Um, Actually, I, I really should check the video because I think the exact same Pokemon come up. Bass on again. So I'm like, okay, switch over to Rainy Cast Form. Um, Rainy Cast Form really good against this team. I can go for the Weather Ball. I think there's no shield this time. Uh, so my opponent does adapt uh, and actually doesn't do that much damage. And then my opponent is going to switch out into a Zoom Roll. Doesn't fire off 
the stone edge. Um, so we're in pretty equivalent positions now uh, where we both didn't use a shield. Here comes the thunder. And I am going to look to land another thunder. So I am not going to shield. Oh, I am going to shield. Okay. Would I survive that? I think so, actually. I don't know why, why I shield that. Um, maybe I don't survive it? I don't know. Okay, nice. And I'm going to switch out into Hypno. Uh, this this Azumarill is switch locked for a little bit. And I'm not going to shield this, mostly because this... Um, uh, well, <laughs> um, uh, I don't know why I didn't farm up a little bit more. Well, I guess there I get a little bit of a farm. And I make a huge mistake here. Um, I don't know why I went for the Ice Punch. Um, I have no idea why. Just a very dumb move on my part. Uh, here comes Bastidon. And uh, I should have went for the Ice Punch there. Uh, but I'm in a totally fine position right now. Um, I have, like, a lot of health on my... On my... Um, uh, on my uh, uh, cast swarm, and then I'm going to be able to mud bomb, deal super effective damage, and then I think I switch out into rainy cast swarm, and then I can basically just water gun down at this point in time. I think I put up the shield, and then I'm just going to do one more water gun, and it's basically GG at this point in time. It's kind of awkward. Uh, I've gotten a couple times where I've, we've uh, gone uh, the same same Pokemon. Okay, anyway, so we're in. The Hypno Mirror Match. Uh, so I am going to look to land this Shadow Ball. And my opponent gets to it first. I was like, I think I have a pretty attack weighted one, but I didn't want to risk it. So I end up um, uh, not shielding or shielding the Thunder Punch. And I know that this is can't be a sh I didn't think it could be a shadow ball uh, so I didn't end up just thunder punching it ends up being just a thunder punch I really should have just switched to rainy cast worm um, yeah but that's quite all right gonna put a lot of pressure onto onto this azumarill and then goes for the play rough and I definitely could have got away with potential, I don't know if a weather ball actually would KO. It probably actually wouldn't. So probably safer that I did this because uh, I definitely don't want to get hit by another charge move. Brings out the the hypno, which is actually very fortunate for me because uh, I definitely want this hypno gone. And there you go. We end up in a CMP tie. Uh, hypno is pretty tanky. Okay, all right, and we are gonna go into hypno, obviously. And I'm going to look to land this Ice Punch. And I feel really comfortable once I get rid of this Hypno. Uh, I do get rid of it. And I switch out into Toxic Crow. And I end up in a decent matchup. Uh, this is not... Uh, I know this is Frenzy Plan. Uh, but... I don't, I don't know. Um, I knew it was Frenzy Plan, so maybe I shouldn't have shielded. But I also didn't want to get Vine Whip down. And I know a frenzy plant wouldn't like. I would have like plenty of health left, so that's just me being rusty. I knew uh, it was too soon to be an earthquake, uh, so I'm able to to take that third match. And we're gonna go into uh, the fourth match uh, with this team, and obviously a pretty bad situation for me, a very bad situation for me. So. Uh, and then here come yeah, this is a terrible situation. <laughs> oh God. Um, yeah, uh, very terrible situation right now. Um, so I do need to, this is going to be a leaf blade. I know I can survive this. And what I'm banking on is that I can fool my opponent into, to shielding. Um, grabbing a shield here would be amazing. And I do, uh, cause my opponent definitely would have survived that. And then I need to go into Hypno, and I basically need to generate a ton of energy. Um, so I'm not going to shield. I have a very poor matchup against this Sableye. And it's not like doing, it's doing a decent amount of damage, but it's not doing a ton of damage. So I'm just going to let it come through again. And 
I am definitely able to KO. And then goes in. I'm hoping, hoping to grab a shield here. Uh, no shield. Wow, it's crazy maneuver. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, and I go for another ice punch. And again, no shield. Wow, this, this trainer is uh, some some guts on him for sure. I have two shields, uh, so I feel pretty comfortable. I should be able to counter down. Uh, Toxicroak's counters just do so much damage, and and I end up in a matchup against. Reggie Steel and no shield. Very interesting. Um, it, I guess, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. Well, maybe, maybe there's a small chance it would have mattered. Um, but I'm able to counter down uh, with the shield. I would have been forced using another charge move, which will allow uh, Reggie Steel to get ten more energy um, potentially. So. I go into this uh, this thing, my fifth matchup. This is uh, definitely my toughest one uh, out of the five sets. And I'm going against um, this number arrangement here. And this is a good matchup for me. And I just need to land this Ice Punch. Okay, here comes a zoom roll. So I end up in a pretty positive matchup. But I'm a little slow on my switch. Um, but I'm not, I'm just going to let this go. It ends up being hydro pump. So it must be ice punch, uh, ice beam hydro pump variant. Uh, so I am just going to go for the thunder there. And I really should have maybe considered, um, farming down, but it's quite all right. And then I end up in this ugh, not so great situation right now where I was hoping to reach the Thunder because it would do more damage than the Weather Ball, uh, but to no avail. And I'm going to go into Toxicro, and I'm not going to shield this Frenzy Plant. And I have to shield the second one. Have to? I don't know if I had to. Uh, and I, as well, I. Uh, mm, nice play. A very nice play by my opponent. I should have did one more confusion to double up. And I, I definitely could have sacked my. Um, and I end up in this awkward situation, and then I just barely not able to get to it. Uh, just uh, uh, it was like a whole confusion off. So then here I make a mistake. I definitely farm up way too much, um, and I'm, I'm I'm like way too low health. And I really should have. Uh, I really should have. I don't know. I would lose the race. I don't think I lose the race to to the charge move, but uh, especially if I was just one counter over. Because that would have been Meganium's third frenzy plan, which I think is is like after five turns, and I definitely win the CMP tie. So slight misplay on my part, but my opponent played uh, quite well, um, and especially after after losing the lead and able to to recover uh, quite well and able to farm up. And then Meganium is just so dangerous, especially I didn't have any steel types, so it left me in a very vulnerable uh, situation. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Um, if you guys like this video, don't to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want me to do more Go Battle League videos, let me know. Tell me what you think about this team. Uh, give it a try. I think it's actually a pretty, pretty solid team. I definitely didn't play it as well as I could have, uh, but I had a lot of fun using it. Uh, so... And raining cast is a lot of fun. Uh, any of the cast forms I think are are really great Pokemon because Weather Ball is just so spammy and and uh, the Thunder gives it really great coverage against other water types. So I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.